a compendium of the Bible, the study of Job. Job is in form a dramatic poem. It is possibly the oldest of the Bible books and was certainly written before the giving of the law. It would have been impossible in a discussion covering the whole field of sin of the providential government of God and of man's relationship to him. To avoid all reference to the law if the law had then been known. Job was a unique personage. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 20 also, James chapter 5 and verse 11 tells about how Job was the only man that God himself bragged on. And the events are historical. The book sheds a remarkable light on the philosophy and the breadth and the intellectual culture of the particular age. The problem is, why do the godly suffer? People have been asking this for years. You try to do right, you try to live right, you pray, you read, and seem like the world, people who are worldly, sometimes live better and more comfortable than those who live for God and try to live by the word. Job is in seven parts. Part one, the prelude. Chapter one, verse one, through chapter two, verse eight. Part two, Job and his wife, chapter 2, verse 9 and verse 10. Part 3, Job and his three friends, chapter 2, verse 11 through chapter 31, verse 40. Part 4, Job and Elihu, chapter 32, verse 1 through chapter 37, verse 24. Part 5, Jehovah and Job, chapter 38, verse 1 through chapter 41 and verse 34. Part 6, Job's final answer. Chapter 42, verses 1 through 6. Part 7, the eulogy. Job 42, verse 7 through verse 17. The events recorded in Job cover a period within one year. What I love about Job, Job 42 and 10, tells us that God, in the end, gave Job double for his trouble. Job teaches us that we must go through in order to get to. This concludes the study of Job.